Let's say you have a family member who has unfortunately passed away and they left you $300,000. It sucks that they're gone, but on the bright side, you got $300,000 that you didn't have before. Now you can blow it all on a Lamborghini or something like that, or you can invest it. Here's what I would do. And by the way, this is not financial advice. This is just one example of what could be hundreds or even thousands. If you see something in this video that you don't like, you don't have to rush to the comments and go, I, why, why would you have done that? I would have done something. Remember, you're watching me. I'm not watching you. This is just one example. Let's also assume that since we're 50 and we're eyeing 59 as retirement, that we've already been investing for 20 or 30 years in a retirement account like a Roth IRA. From my, per, my personal job, my income already that I already have, I would continue to max out my Roth IRA every single year until I hit 59. But I might also use that $300,000 to work part-time instead, dial back a little bit, take it easy. I would take that $300,000 and I'd pick these five investments and I would divide it evenly just to keep the math easy. So $60,000 in each one. You ready? Let's go. Oh, wait, first, smash that follow. Hey. Thanks. And the first one I would pick would be a dividend ETF. This one is highly regarded as one of the best and safest dividend ETFs on the market. 60,000 divided by, let's keep it easy, and say 78, I would have 769 shares. 769 shares times their annual dividend of $2.66 would make me around 2,045 bucks. My next 60,000 would go into what many consider the best real estate investment trust on the market, Realty Income. $60,000 divided by, let's just say 52, would get me 1,153 shares. 1,153 times $3.08 would pull me in around $3,500 from their dividend. The next $60,000 would go into a covered call ETF for some monthly passive income. Now these carry a lot of risk, so please make sure that you Google and read up on them or you click on my homepage and watch the covered call ETF playlist that will go into some more depth. Now let's just round up here and say it's $18, 60,000. So we're gonna get 3,333 shares. And we're gonna multiply that by their annual dividend of $2.06. And we're gonna make $6,865 from this one. Some people might say, well, why don't you just put the whole 300,000 in this? Because remember, we're trying to be smart with this money that we just inherited. We're not trying to take any risks here more than necessary. You might not even want something like this in your portfolio to begin with. For our next 60,000, we're gonna consider some individual stocks here. I've picked Verizon just for an example, and we're gonna divide it by just, let's say 40, and we're gonna get 1,500 shares. 1,500 shares times their annual dividend of 266 is gonna pull us in just under 4,000 bucks. And we're gonna go and take our last $60,000 and put it into yet another controversial stock. This one is big tobacco, and I understand some people might not like it, but they have a 9.59% dividend going to take our last $60,000 and divide it by, let's just say $41, and we're going to get 1,463 shares. 1,463 times $3.92, and we're going to make $5,734 from Altria. So we're going to add up all those dividends. Remember, this is on $300,000 invested between five different companies at $60,000 apiece, and we're gonna make $22,185 a year in dividends. We're gonna make some other assumptions here about the $300 in this hypothetical scenario, which says that we've already paid taxes on this money. So we're not gonna worry about that. that. This is $300 after taxes. This is just a hypothetical. It definitely pays to talk to a financial advisor who can help you when you inherit a large sum of money, especially when it comes to your own estate planning, taxes, and maybe how to pay off a mortgage. If you still have a mortgage, you wanna maybe use some of that money for that instead of investing. I don't know your financial situation. I don't know anyone's financial situation, which is why this is a very vague video. Maybe you have debts, maybe you have outstanding medical bills, maybe you've got grandkids and you wanna set up custodial accounts for them. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm also making the assumption that you've also been investing for yourself for your own retirement, so you've got other things invested in, like S&P 500 index funds. So this is just one example of what I would do if I inherited $300,000.